I'm here on the 17th green at West Hill Golf Club with course manager Ben Edwards. Ben, we're going to look at pitch mark repairs now, aren't we? which must be one of the banes of your life as yep. a, the guy in, entrusted with getting the course in as good a condition as possible. We have one here which has been badly repaired and it's left a scar. Yep. What, what has whoever's repaired that done wrong? So basically when the ball, what happens is when the ball flies into the green, the, the ball impacts and all the grass and material heads to the back of the pitch mark. Yeah. And what's happened is the golfer has walked up and simply pulled up the soil, which is underneath the pitch mark, smoothed that out with their putter and has left a scar on the green. Like that. like that. Okay, so how long ago would you reckon that one was maybe created? That was probably created yesterday or the day before. Um, and that will now take probably up to two weeks, three weeks maybe to recover. Okay, so what we really want to know as golfers is how do we repair them properly? So we've got another pitch mark just ahead of us here, which we've created. So um, how do we do this properly so that it heals and looks better quicker? So as I said before, the pitch mark always heads to the back, or the yep. material heads to the back of the pitch mark. So you simply grab your repairer, your fork, and you literally pull in from the back as you go. So pulling all the grass back to the front of the pitch mark. Okay, and, and then, then simply just, just tap, tap down, down with your with putter. putter. And now that will heal almost uh, such that you can't really tell it was there maybe within two or three days? Yeah, with, a mow, with a mow tomorrow that'll be fine. Perfect. So there you have it. Next time you hit a green and create a pitch mark, that's what you need to do to repair it properly.